So different dogs have different grooming needs. Uh, if you have a short hair dog, then just a bath and some nail clipping should be plenty of, uh, plenty of grooming for that dog. Dogs like Dexter here are gonna require a lifetime of pretty heavy handling and grooming to stay fresh and clean and trim. So when you first get a puppy, you wanna be sure that you're exposing the dog to a lot of the handling that they're gonna be experiencing. That goes for grooming, bathing, vet visits, things like that. But when grooming, you have to remember that there's gonna be a lot of pretty intense grabbing and squeezing, holding, and buzzing. So, typically make sure that I'm getting the dog used to having its fingernails separated and maybe even pinch the nails on its fingertips, on its paws. Get in around the mouth and kind of pull a little bit of the hair. You wanna make sure that this is all something that the dog sees as fun and games. I'm sticking my fingers in his ear. I'm letting him get used to that sensation, having his ears cleaned. You never want the first time you clean your dog's ears or trim your dog's nails to be an unpleasant experience. It should be something that they're already pretty accustomed to. It's something you do for cookies and for over, over a meal, things like that. You're also gonna pull on some of this hair and get him used to the sensation of having his hair handled, his tail handled, things like that. So you can see he's clearly not that comfortable with that, but if we do it a few more times, maybe even offer him some cookies while we do it. The other thing that I'll do is uh, bring him to a grooming salon. For a dog like this, again, if you have a shorter haired dog, you may not need to do this, but you should do it at the groomer where you bring him in and put him in just to have cookies and, and get belly rubs and things like that so it's not the grooming salon is immediately about handling and buzzing and trimming and cutting and, and, and aggressive handling. You could also take a beard trimmer, a blow dryer, things like that that the dog's gonna need to be exposed to for grooming, turn it on, give him some cookies, blow the hair dryer at him, give him some cookies so that he's getting the exposure when it's not so intense. So low level of intensity, high value reward until it's just something that's part of his everyday routine. All right, and that's how I get started grooming your dog.